Hi, everyone. This is Dale C. Washington of Greater Works, Prophetic Ministry, and Raw. It is Saturday night, shortly after 8 p.m., November the 9th of 2024. So I am back to share a short prophetic dream with you all that I received from the Lord quite some time ago. The title of this uh, prophetic dream slash prophetic uh, message that I'm going to share with you all tonight is It's a Done Deal. All right. That is the title that um, the Lord spoke to me. It's a Done Deal. So um, I'm going to share the dream with you all first. Um, and then I'm going to give you the scripture. The reason, um, well, first of all, I, I regret not having shared this particular prophetic dream before now. Um, there are, I could say, several reasons why I didn't uh, share it um, earlier, uh, years ago, but... Um, as many of you know, if you follow this, uh, if you follow this this channel, I uh, uploaded a prophetic word about four days ago, um, and it was titled "The Two Faces of Obama." Um, when the Lord spoke that to me on November, the night of November the third, which was a Sunday night, the two faces of Obama in reference to Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Um, ever since I shared that with you all from this platform, um, the Lord has been dealing with me about this particular prophetic dream that he showed me sometime between the year of 2016 and 2017. I don't have the exact date uh, the day in front of me, um, but um, I'll share with you in, in, a, in a little bit as to how come I can remember the timing um, that the Lord gave this dream to me, okay? Um, so this has really been pressing um, on my spirit to go ahead and release this prophetic dream at this time. Um, so uh, again, the title is It's a done deal. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the dream. Um, I saw Obama sitting behind a desk and there was, um, there was someone sitting in front of him. So Obama was, you know, positioned behind the desk where he's supposed to be. But there was someone on the opposite side of the desk that he was meeting with. Um, what I saw was Obama selling parts of America in the dream. OK, I saw Obama selling parts of America in this particular dream. Um I don't know if it was a dream or a vision. I'm saying dream because um, I remember that I was positioned as if I was in the room, but it's I wasn't seen by the people, the other people in the room, but I could, it was as if I was in the room watching what was happening, what was taking place. I was that close in the dream, okay? Um it was known to me. Now, I don't remember seeing um, everyone that Obama met with, but it was known to me that it wasn't just one person who he was selling parts of America to. And I say that because the Lord allowed me to see one person in particular. Um, although I only remember seeing one person in particular sitting across the desk from Obama that Obama was selling or trying to sell parts of America to, it, it was known to me that it was uh, more than one person that he was trying to sell parts of America to. So that's kind of why I have this particular picture right here, okay? Um, so 
Again, Obama was sitting behind a desk and I don't know what what desk. I don't know what office. I don't know what building. OK, I don't know where I don't know where I, where he was. He was in an office sitting behind a desk. OK, um, selling parts of America. OK, now I, I distinctly remember as I was observing what was happening, um, the one particular man that the Lord uh, allowed me to, to notice um, or to focus on, he was, he had his money spread out on the desk as he was sitting at the desk uh, across from Obama. He had all of his money spread out. And it wasn't exactly in the order of this picture. The money was spread out more like this the way this particular man is holding the money, but I remember seeing it flat on the desk spread out in that position that this particular person is holding it in this photo right here, okay? Um, as I'm standing there observing, um, the man wanted to make the purchase, but he was having a really hard time um, with the decision um, about purchasing the the land because Obama's price was extremely high, okay? He was selling parts of America for very, very high prices, as you could imagine, okay? Because you're, you're, you're buying parts of America, okay? So, the man he was having a he was having a very hard time making a decision a decision because he knew that if he made the purchase if he purchased um, the land or the part of America that Obama was trying to sell him this particular man knew that he wasn't going to have anything left that's how high the price was for that part of America that. Obama was trying to sell to this particular man. He wasn't going to have anything left. So he was really torn. Okay. He was torn with this decision, whether to buy or not, w desperately wanting to buy, but knowing that he wasn't going to have anything left. Okay. So, um, I remember, um, again, I can remember, I'm going to tell you all, why I can remember when this was. I can remember when this dream was, as I said, I don't have the exact day as I like to keep up with the exact dates that I, I have dreams, but it was between 2016 and 2017. The reason I remember that is because Donald Trump had just won the 2016 election that I believe... Um, took place November 8th of 2016. So I received this particular dream from the Lord after November 8th, but before January 20th of 2017, which would have been the date of Donald Trump's inaugural address. I distinctly remember that because when I had the dream, I said to myself, and I discussed the dream with my family. I said to myself and my family, why am I seeing Obama selling parts of America when Donald Trump has just been voted the next president? Okay, why am I seeing this? Why am, why am I seeing, why is God showing me Obama selling parts of America and Donald Trump was just voted in the new president. I couldn't wrap my head around that. Now, I have so many things that I received from the Lord, so many dreams and visions, and I'm not bragging and I'm not exaggerating. I don't always pray about every, I don't go into prayer about every single dream and seek the Lord for every single dream that the Lord shows me when he shows it to me. Sometimes I pray about those things at a different time. Sometimes I don't pray about those things. Sometimes I just talk to the Lord. I, sometimes I just ponder what I saw, but I know what I saw. 
Okay. So I don't remember going to the Lord and like, Lord, please tell me what this is. And why am I seeing this? Yes. I walked around with that question in my head for some time. Um, I don't know how long I walked around. It could have been years. Um, and I would often think, why did I see Obama selling parts of America? Um, I don't I can't tell you at what time or what year the scripture that I'm about to share with you all um, was made known to me. And uh, the scripture that I'm going to be reading from is uh, the book of Daniel, chapter 11. OK, um, now I had read the book of Daniel before. Um, I just was not making any connection with what I saw in the dream with the book of Daniel. I wasn't even really remembering everything that I had read in the book of Daniel. I'm familiar with the book of Daniel, but I don't, I didn't remember every single scripture in the book of Daniel, if that makes, um, if that makes any sense. Okay. If that makes any sense to you all. So I'm going to read the scripture and I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, again, this is uh, Daniel chapter 11, starting with verses 36 through 39. And my uh, focus scripture is verse the latter part of verse 39. That is my focus scripture. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and read that. And that reads, uh, and the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that that is determined shall be done. Verse 37, neither shall he regard Regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, and that's little g, O D God, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the God of forces, and a God whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver, and with precious stones and pleasant things. Verse 39, thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with glory. And here is my focus part of this scripture. And he shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. All right. The book of Daniel chapter 11, verse 39 is telling us, um, and the Amplified version is telling us, and I say the Amplified because it changed um, gain to a different word. So in other words, the Bible, Daniel chapter 11, is saying that the Antichrist shall divide the land for a price. Okay? The Antichrist shall divide the land for a price. So the Amplified Version change, uh, use the word price instead of the word gain. The King James Version says, and shall divide the land for gain. Okay, so I'm sharing this at this time. Um, I'm releasing this. You all can make what you want to make of this. I am not going to tell you who Obama is not. Many people are saying who Obama is not. Um, everybody right now is complaining about Trump, what Trump said he's going to do. Trump this, Trump that. Uh, this is all about Obama, okay? This is Obama's game. This is Obama's program. As I told you guys in the previous video, the two faces of Obama. Again, Either way you guys voted, and I told you before Tuesday um, morning, I, I made the video 1 a.m. in the morning before the polls open. Either way you vote, it doesn't matter who you vote for, you're going to get more of Obama. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh is his name. Okay? So, again, 
make what you want to make of it. I'm releasing what God has given me to speak from this platform, okay, to share with his people at this time, okay? Again, Daniel chapter 11, verses 36 through not through 39, and the latter part of 39 is telling you that the Antichrist shall divide the land for a price. It's a done deal. Thus saith the Lord, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. I say, good night, America. It's a done deal. Bye, baby. Good night, America. Don't track me unless you want to be tracked. I don't care who you are. It is the gift of God most high. Good night, America.